Hey, Doug, I'm still here for Doc Sports, and today is Thursday, January the 19th. I'm back for more free play action. Yesterday, after three quarters of the, the pick for the free play, that really higher scoring game than I thought would actually going to happen, finally get the fourth quarter we needed. Go right down to the final 16 seconds. Memphis takes a shot, misses it. They get the tip in, and we lose by a point. Tough break, okay, on that one. It was right there to have. Odds makers were correct. Got to give, got to give them credit for that. But uh, just missed. West Coast Wise guys though had a winner uh, easily with West Virginia. So split the day. So they continue to stay hot. Uh, now I still need to keep it, get it, get it going again. So we'll see what we can do as far as that goes today, and see if we can get some more action for you on plays. Uh, I had a great day yesterday again, four and one across the board, six unit winner in the uh, NBA with uh, Oklahoma City. So that was great. 31 and 15, 67 plus percent up over $5,700 of profit uh, the last 11 days. Good stuff. And with football coming up this weekend, been red hot in the NFL. Hey, I'm, I'm excited. Now I'm very excited to tell you the truth. Uh, what else do I have going on for today? Well, today I have a seven unit best bet in college basketball. Went two and one yesterday with some winners on St. Bonnie's in Missouri. And looking to improve upon that, I just explained how hot I've been in my picks overall. So I got a seven unit play. And you're going to get two more with that. So a total of three plays for just 30 bucks. That's $10 a pop. <coughs> Something to consider for today. Games, of course, goes tonight and on Thursday, uh, just $30 for three plays, including a seven unit best bet. Also, NHL had a winner again yesterday, easy with Tampa Bay. I think that's 10 out of the last 12, 60% uh, out of my last 74, I think it is. And 60, so 60% record. And I got a five unit best bet going today, okay, in the NHL. So you can check that out as well. NBA, like I said, had a six unit winner, 11 and six recently in the NBA with several, with several pushes. And uh, so we have that. And I got to play tonight in one of the two TNT games. So you can watch and win. Okay, I know. So all available back up on page at Doc Sports. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. All you can hit that subscribe button. Get yourself going. Get my plays. Okay, the, they're still winning. Okay, so that's the bottom line. Still winning on the free plays. It's been back and forth some. Okay, of late, but overall still still winning. And uh, and any of the other guys at Doc Sports. So take advantage of that just by subscribing. And uh, thanks for watching. Okay, and if you like what you see, hit the like button. Okay, cost you it, that neither one of them cost you anything to do. Okay, and it takes literally like that in order to get it done. Okay, so take it take advantage of that as well. Okay, let's get today's free play. Speaking of TNT, this game is on there, and it's a uh, it's an anticipated game, even though one of the teams isn't doing quite as well as anticipated. Uh, Golden State against Boston total on this one's two forty, which seems like a pretty cumbersome number for this anticipated matchup. Uh, while it seems high, you should know that the score this season of Golden State uh, road games is 239.3 points. So less than a point away from that total. Now, granted, Boston's total on home games is 234.4. So that's a little farther away. But yet they concede 47 point or almost 47 percent shooting so their defense well 47 percent it's kind of relative it's it's not a good number especially compared to past years but this year the one thing we have is a more of an emphasis on scoring okay in the nfl and particularly what i have noticed is the teams have followed the model that the milwaukee bucks did a few years ago and if you remember what the bucks did and and, and it you know it was it was kind of going but they were the ones that really took advantage of it the most when they won the title is that you know everybody at the time was guide, uh, guarding the paint and guarding the three-point line well quite a bit of space in between there. So what teams have, have done to counteract that, and the Bucks were really the first one to take advantage of it, is utilize the two points, two point shots. So that's what you're seeing in the NBA from a state spacing standpoint. And so that's a big reason why scoring is up, okay, uh, this season as compared to the last. And two point shooting is is far more, is, is much higher. And these two teams, Boston is fifth in two point shooting percentage, Golden State seventh in terms of the accuracy. 
you know, Boston, you know, they lost in the finals last year. That was a brutal loss uh, for them. They expected to win, I would presume. And then they went out to Golden State, what was it, five, six weeks ago, whatever that was, and they lost by 16. So, you know, they got something to prove from that standpoint. Golden State's defense, 29th on the road, okay, in points allowed. To wrap this thing up, these two teams, Boston comes in 14-4 and four, uh, over against teams with losing records, which Golden State certainly has, and the Warriors are 24-7 and seven over facing a team with a winning home record. So where am I going? Even though it's a big number, I'm going over 240, and I hope I get to 241 to make up for yesterday, right? So, so that's the plan for today's free pick video. Uh, again, just a recap, six, seven-unit play, college basketball. Okay, like I say, I'm on a hellacious run uh, just across the board uh, on, on all picks the last 11 days. Five unit best bet in uh, in, uh, in in the NHL, and I forgot to mention if the NBA. Two more picks, okay, premium picks, not just not just crappy picks, good quality picks that I am betting that I have been myself already today. NBA have that as well. Got a TNT game game. One of the two games going tonight. And because it's Thursday, we've got NFL coming up later today at Docs. I got a seven unit play uh, for sure, ready to go. And you know how I've been doing on football best bets 10 and 2. Okay. So really strong on those. So that's going to be available later today, 6 Eastern on that one. All right. West Coast Wise Guy play for today is to take USC plus the eight. I'm thinking somebody is thinking Arizona is looking ahead to playing UCLA on Saturday. So they're recommending to take USC plus the eight tonight in Tucson. All right. So that's everything I got for you today. This is Doug Upton for Doc Sports. I'll be back on Friday with more free play action. Until then, I'm out.